the box problem here. An open box is made by removing squares from the corners of a rectangular sheet of cardboard. And then we fold up the sides to make a box. So we can see in the picture what we're going to do is cut out the corners and take what's left along these lines and fold the sides up to make our box, meaning that the height of our box is that x. But the long side, the base of our box, is going to be just this part of our base, so from here to here. The entire width of the cardboard started out being 18 inches, but we cut off not just this x, but this x as well, so I'm going to subtract two x's. When it comes to uh, the width of the box, that's going to be just this part of the height of our rectangle. So the height of the rectangle started off as being 12 inches, but again, I subtracted the two x's on the end, um, giving these three as our dimensions for our open box. Now we can use those three pieces of information to find the volume in terms of x. Because the volume of a box is base, well, the area of the base, so length times width times the height of the box. And we can do a little foiling, um, and you should get this to come out to be 4x cubed minus 60x squared plus 216x. Knowing uh, a function for the volume of that box, um, we can maximize the volume um, by looking at its derivative. So I'm going to take a look at the derivative of volume, which will be 12x squared minus 120x plus 216. The value of x that's going to maximize the volume is going to be the critical number for this function. So we take the derivative and set it equals 0. Now, I can um, divide both sides by 12, and doing so will give me x squared minus 10x plus 18 is equal to 0. This quadratic, it looks real nice and everything, but it's not going to be factorable. So I'm going to have to resort to quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 10 squared is 100, minus 4 a, C. A is just 1. All over 2 times A, 1. That 1. Um, I'd resort to the calculator right now, and it gives us a value of 2.354. In this problem, uh, everything's measured in inches, so the amount that we should cut from each side would be 2.354 inches. The last part is asking what the maximum volume was going to be, and that's just going to amount to taking that 2.354 and plugging it back into our volume function. Not the derivative of our volume, but the volume. So that 4x cubed minus 60x squared plus 216x. All right, it's going to be a little bit of writing here, but what we're going to do is take 2.354 and plug it in. You're not going to calculate this by hand. You're going to go ahead and grab your calculator and type it all in. And in fact, instead of using um, 2.354, you could use the answer key on your calculator to get a more precise answer. But if you type all of this in, just hit enter. Then you're going to go and get a value of 228.162. Uh, since we're talking about volume, that's going to be inches cubed.